I want you to put your hands on your heart. And I prophesy this year that God will open up your heart and make you happier than you have ever been since you served God. That you will have a heart's desire to go and be a blessing to somebody else and that God will give you the means to do it. I pray that God put a Shekinah glory in your household. Oh God, I feel this. Driving out every evil spirit that would walk in would have to run out. I prophesy that your household starts recognizing what you stand for. And then you start getting phone calls and visits. And they don't really tell you why they're coming. But you know, God's drawing them into the house. I prophesy that you go out your wisdom and your knowledge and understanding of the end time. That you realize where we're at at what hour. I prophesy that your wisdom and knowledge and understanding can foresee into the future and recognize the prophecies being fulfilled before your eyes. I prophesy that you get so hungry in the Lord that you can't wait to testify. You can't wait to get to church and you ain't going to let nothing or nobody stop you from coming. I prophesy that God will put the financial blessings in your hands this year that you can do what you want to do and not have to beg for it. I prophesy health into your bodies. I prophesy miracles into your bodies. I prophesy deliverance in your homes and your household. I prophesy that God will raise you up in a higher standard. And I also prophesy that you love and not have bitterness or hate. Because love wipes away a multitude of our mistakes and sins. I prophesy that you will stand fast for what you understand and believe and what you don't, you'll seek knowledge for it. And I also prophesy for my pastor that this be his greatest year of happiness. That God will open up a door that will carry him out in the realm of the Spirit. And that God will give him one of the greatest revivals that he has ever had and has ever been since this time that we've known. I ask God to shape this nation and prepare us so that we can run to him and not to a man. I prophesy that we, as a body of Christ, will lift up one another not carrying a grudge and not carrying hatred and bitterness in there. I prophesy that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, come down upon you as I speak right now and let you feel His presence. I also prophesy there's going to be major, major, major problems in the United States of America. I see buildings crumbling. I see people screaming and running in the streets. Oh God. There's major, major things going to happen to America and around the world as well. Even the scientists are going to be so mixed up that they're not going to know what's going on. They can't figure it out. But it is the end times and it's coming. I also prophesy that the stock market is going to fall several times lower than it's ever been. People are putting their trust in the wrong place. Put it in the storehouse. That there may be meat in my house, saith the Lord. There's going to be a major change in the money. There's going to be demands from the government that are trying to take control of everything that you own and get it all set up for the mark to take its place. It's right around the corner. Hear what I'm saying. It's right around the corner. You don't have to fear it. You don't have to worry about the depression and the financial collapse and the homes and all the things that are going on because see, God is going to watch out over His own. I prophesy 
that you can understand that. That you will take it to heart that God's got it all in your control and His as well. I also prophesy to you that our people in here is going to have more money than you've ever had. You're going to have extra money to share with other people by the time we do this next year, wherever we're at, not here. There's five people in here going to get a brand new car this year. And two people are going to get a home. Two people are going to have a supernatural miracle happen to them that will blow them away and you'll have a testimony and people will know that God did it. And there's nine people that are going to wake up realizing that they've been playing church and they're going to get sincere with God and they're going to be one of the best workers in the church. Nine of them. Hallelujah. I'm done. That's it.